So you're starting affiliate marketing from scratch with absolutely no money. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the five steps that you should take in order to do exactly that. Let's get into this. So in this video, I was inspired by someone who showed a college student exactly how to go about doing affiliate marketing online. But for me, there wasn't a lot of information in that video, so I decided to bring out my own version. So starting affiliate marketing from scratch with absolutely no money to start, what exactly would I do? Now, before I get into that, do me a favor and go ahead and comment below this video whether you feel that this was actually helpful or not. In doing so, make sure you subscribe because you will get put into the end of month draw of over $1,200 prize pool in order to get free coaching and free training from yours truly. All right, so let's get stuck into this video. So the first thing I'd recommend to people in terms of starting affiliate marketing from scratch is to look into passions and hobbies as niches because these are going to give you a good foundation from which to start upon. Now, it doesn't necessarily that you really need to dive into it, but it's a good start, right? Because if you can find something that you'll be able to follow in step number two, then you're on the right path. Now, for me, for example, like I'm passionate about online marketing, wealth creation, personal development basketball so these are all niches fortunately for me that can actually be scaled in the future to be made a lot of money so that actually brings up point number two the second thing you want to do is you want to check if it's scalable okay so the way you actually go about doing that is you jump onto websites like jvzoo clickbank and amazon or you find websites that possibly pertain to your niche that actually have affiliate programs and you want to find something that is sustainable that is long term so for example if you're going to join an affiliate program for a uh, for a website that has really just gotten started it's probably not, not a good idea because it's untested and you have no idea how long how much longer they're going to be around for whereas websites like Amazon and Clickbank they've been around forever and you can sign up for their programs hundred percent free and start promoting products just by signing up going into your website uh, going into your account and then going into that particular product and copy pasting the, the affiliate link that you start promoting everywhere so what do you do if you check your passion and or your hobby or niche or whatever it is that you're involved in and you find that it's not scalable. You can't find anything really on Amazon. You can't really find anything on ClickBank, JVZoo. Um, you've checked out affiliate marketing networks, right? And you can't actually find anything that is scalable, meaning, so what exactly is scalable? You might be wondering. Scalable is the ability to be able to take a product from, let's say, for example, $100 a day to $500 a day. And you're probably sitting there thinking, well, how do you even go about doing that? And that's through paid advertising. And I see you thinking already, well, hang on, I thought this was about starting from scratch with no money. So yes, that's absolutely right. But the last thing you want to do is dedicate two, three, four, five years of, in a niche where you really, really ingrain yourself as the expert and then find out that it's not scalable. The reason I tell you that is because that was the case for me. I didn't realize after spending five years in, in a niche of really you know, situating myself as the expert in that niche making every possible dollar that could be made in that niche, but only to find out that it wasn't scalable. I couldn't do any paid advertising to drive more customers. Therefore, I had to keep doing exactly what I was doing without being able to grow the business at all. And trust me, that's the last thing you want to do. Now, so I'm just giving you a bird's eye perspective from here on out. If, you're, if your product isn't in fact scalable, then I would really highly recommend that you consider doing something else, okay? Because that, like I said, the last thing you want to do is spend years in a niche to really establish yourself, to really figure everything out, only to find out that your cap is, you know, 10 grand a month. Now, that might be a lot of money for some people, but trust me, when you get to that point, what you're going to want is more money and more customers. So what do you do if the market isn't, in fact, scalable? Then simply brainstorm again. Go back to step one. Look at your passions, your hobbies, your niches, right? Your interests. Even an interest can be turned into a six or seven figure business quite easily as long as it's in the right market and the right niche. And from there on, you come back again to step two. Have a look at how scalable it is. And then we progress on to the next step. And the third step is to brainstorm other supportive products. Now, what am I talking about? See, here's the thing. One thing that affiliate market tend to make a mistake with is promoting one product and then promoting a second product and then promoting a third product and then promoting a fourth product all in four days okay and it really really confuses someone as a 
customer, as a follower. I know because I've seen these people over the years and you subscribe to their email list or you're following them on YouTube and one day they're bringing out a, a video about a microphone and the next day they're bringing out a, you know, a video about you know, an audio book or whatever the case may be. Now, I'm not saying you can't do it that way. Of course you can. But the way you really establish yourself in a niche is by really making yourself come out as the expert. In doing so, people are going to turn to you for answers and that's when you can actually make your money. So with affiliate marketing, it is absolutely no different. It's really just a matter of whether you want to choose to do it the free way, which is a great way to start if you've got absolutely no money, especially if you're starting from scratch because then you can learn without spending too much cash. Or you can establish yourself as an expert in a specific area, which allows you to basically charge premium in prices. But in regards to supportive products, what I'm talking about is this. Let's just say, for example, you're in the health niche, right? And you promote organic food. So perhaps maybe you, you've got this uh, product. I've seen it on ClickBank. I've never purchased it, but I've seen this product where I think it's called Organifi or, or Organic or something like that. And basically take green powder that you can mix in and quickly make a smoothie, right? In like a matter of seconds, because the powder has got everything that you would actually need that you, uh, in terms of nutritionally, um, to, to help you build your, your uh, fitness and health up. And so what you could possibly do is if you promote that is you could look at promoting also, um, organic based products online, or perhaps maybe you could find like a, a home based fitness um, regime, right? Because people that are organic usually don't really want to go to like a gym with machines and all that sort of stuff. For some reason, they think that's wrong. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But in either way, right? If, if, if they're in that particular space, in that particular frame of mind, then you want to cater to that market. So you could find, you want to find products that support your one core product that you'll be promoting all the time. And then you find core products around that to help people get to that particular frame of mind. Once they purchase one thing, they, they trust you. It means that they've actually, they've trusted you enough to pull out their credit card and go, yes, here you go, I'm gonna buy based on your recommendation. And they'll be also open to buying other products as long as it supports them in what it is that they're trying to achieve. That's how you go from one sale for one particular person to seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 sales. Is you find supportive products that all support your one core. Step number four is to look for free giveaway options. Now, this isn't always available to everyone, but I'll just give you two because it's something that I came across recently and I'm really thinking about diving into, but I haven't fully decided yet. So what it is, is finding free options that actually gives people stuff for free, but you get paid for it. You can find this in um, a CPA office, right? Where, so it's a cost per acquisition. So every time someone signs up, even just signs up with an email address, they get something uh, sent to them for free and you actually get paid for it because the, the company essentially is paying for a lead, right? They're paying for someone who's actually interested in this product and they're gonna give you a certain amount of dollars for it. Uh, for example, what I came across is because I'm really big into personal development and I listen to audiobooks on a daily basis, basically like an hour, sometimes two hours every single day. It's just part of my, my rituals, my routines to condition my mind. I always listen to something nonfiction, education based, right? So I thought, how can I monetize this since I'm consuming so much information, right? You think about it, that's between 365 and what, 730 hours of information every single year that I'm consuming. How can I put this information to use other than obviously my everyday life, my business and so on. I thought what I could do is try and find a program that will allow me to promote it 100% free and give, you know share basically my insights from these audiobooks and then people sign up, I get paid for it, they get an audiobook. What I found come to find out is that they get two audiobooks for free which is even better and I get paid up to $13.50 per sign up. So if you ask me, that's pretty damn awesome. So it's probably something that I'm gonna dive into the future and it won't be on this channel, it'll be on a separate product review channel because I don't like to mix businesses. But that's just an idea of how I've started from something that I'm passionate, that I'm interested in, that I've been able to find for free that is 100% scalable in the future because if people like my free audiobooks, I can always retarget them. Say for example, if I can get them to click on an ad for 50 cents and they go and sign up for you know the whole package and I get 13.50, that's a hell of a return. That means it's scalable, okay? And it's something that I can dive into 100% into the future. So um, how does it apply to other markets? Now, I don't know a lot of other markets, like, so you'll need to dive into what it is, what it is that you're interested in and how you go about doing that. And so for just for another example that I looked into that I found just for the sake of this video when I did some research is that iTunes. iTunes Music allow you to refer people to sign up for free and in doing so, you get $3 as the person who actually refers them. So if you're into music, say for example, you, you're, you're a beatboxer or 
you like putting together beats and putting them, or if you like doing free music and putting it on YouTube, which I see a lot of as well. And the way you can actually make it scalable is just offer it, offer it um, <clears throat> as a strip at the bottom of the video saying, hey, look, if, if you're interested in getting some free music uh, through iTunes, click on the link below. And in doing so, they'll get their free sign up for however long it is. I don't know, 14 days, 28 days maybe. And you get a $3, you get a $3 commission simply for referring them. Okay, That's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. People buying stuff that you recommend based off of your experience and your knowledge having shared it with them, saving them the learning curve of having to figure out what it is and whether they actually want to do it. The fifth and final and probably the most important step of the entire thing, because if you don't do this, you can't do it for free, okay? Is you must build your social channels. You can look at Facebook, you can look at Instagram, you could look at LinkedIn. If your product or your niche fits into that particular demographic, you could do Pinterest, you could do YouTube, but whatever the case may be, number one, lead with value, okay? Be content-based. Don't go out there like just slinging um, links everywhere because I made this mistake when I started and I see a lot of people doing it even now with all of the information online so just make sure I want to touch on that point you know talk about your product in terms of its benefits for people and how it actually helps them talk about your niche in your market so that people start thinking of you and as an as an expert in that particular area people when they come and talk to me they talk about three things in particular they talk about fitness they talk about business and they talk about basketball, right? Because those are the three things that I really put on social media um, that people really kind of turn to me and ask for advice about, well, how do I do this? How do I do that? What do you think of this? What do you think of that? Like, <clears throat> so, and the reason that that's happened is because, you know, over the two year span is those, those are, I've spoken really only about five things. And those are the three things in terms of like people and what it is that they could possibly make money from that people come and talk to me about. And so again, that's taken a couple of years to build up. And that's the thing with doing it free, uh, doing it without no money is that it takes a lot longer to build up your audience. Okay. But you can hundred percent do it. You can do it for Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, YouTube, whatever the platform is for you. Right. So I've spoken, um, previously in terms of like platforms and the different type of media that you should be posting on that particular platform in other videos. So go ahead and check out my channel if that's something that interests you. So just as a, a to touch base very, very quickly, with Facebook, you want to look at um, shorter videos. Uh, sorry, you want to look at videos and text base and even some pictures, but not a whole hell of a lot. On Pinterest, obviously, it's, it's almost 100% um, uh, picture based, but you can actually do some videos as well. Now, on Instagram, it is short videos, so 60 seconds or less, as well as text based um, content and with YouTube obviously it's a hundred percent all about video now on every single platform there's different ways to optimize what it is that you're doing ie the best way to find to allow a platform to find your content and promote it to everybody else you just need to learn that process okay so if you choose to go on YouTube then learn how to optimize the video so that you you can rank on page one just as an example okay so look I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you you're jam-packed now with ideas of how to exactly go about attacking this affiliate marketing thing starting 100% from scratch with no money at all, right? If you've got any questions whatsoever, go ahead and comment below and I will get back to you personally, all right? On the flip side, if you do comment, make sure you subscribe because you'll get put into the prize draw of over $1,200 worth of coaching and training from yours truly to help you build your business and to help you get discovered online. Take care, much love, and I'll see you in the next one.